Yeah, my name is JJ Hu, and I'm associate professor at the Department of Material Science and Engineering. So the research focus of my lab is in optics and photonics. So the overarching theme is to replace conventional bulk optical elements with their miniaturized counterparts that can be mass produced using standard microfabrication technology, pretty much the same way as you make computer chips. Yeah. So spectrometers is a kind of device that allows you to uh, tell the light intensity as a function of wavelength or as a function of color. So it's actually a very important optical device for many applications, ranging from medical imaging to I identification of chemical and biological species in food, agricultural products, and uh, industrial monitoring. So if you look at nowadays how people m make spectrometers, they usually have this kind of large bench top instruments that's of a size of a large desk computer. So that really limits the, uh, the ability to deploy for different applications um, because it's large, expensive, and very fragile. So our, our group has developed a new technology that allows us to miniaturize the spectrometer into a small computer chip size. Um, the main idea behind it is a new architecture that we call digital Fourier transform spectroscopy. Um, so there are already a lot of microspectrometers out in the market, uh, but we see that one major challenge is that their performance cannot compete against their conventional counterpart due to essentially fundamental physical scaling laws. As spectrometer gets smaller, the performance usually gets worse. So that's why we come up with this new architecture that allows us to transcend this kind of limit and make very high-performance spectrometers while still occupying a very compact chip scale platform. So now we are actually uh, looking into uh, developing this technology and use them for different applications, uh, specifically on uh, biomedical imaging, to look into uh, three-dimensional image reconstruction using essentially how light reflects at uh, biological tissues. And we are also collaborating with several companies looking into developing sensors for, for example, industrial process that monitoring, biopharmaceutical process control, as well as uh, um, um, food and uh, uh, agricultural product quality control. Sure, so one of the example, for example, is that we are actually collaborating with a company, uh, actually a fishing company. So what they want to do is that they want to be able to monitor their fish, the quality of their fish products while it's still on the boat and fresh. And the, the, nowadays, the way they do it is they have to actually carry all the fish products back to the ports and then send it to a lab and then wait a few days before the uh, result comes back. And obviously, it's already too late for lots of things. So they want to be able to do it right at the, uh, the ship and also right at the port. So that's why we are developing this kind of miniaturized spectrometer so they can be carried around kind of like a smartphone and you can use to examine the quality of food products and they will give you information immediately. Yeah. So what we are looking at here, this is uh, a micro sensor I discussed about. So we designed this specifically for the pharmaceutical industry so that we can perform real-time monitoring of the different chemical species. So inside this little chamber here, we have a little photonic chip uh, a, a few millimeters across, uh, such that when liquid flows through it, the light can interact with the molecules and tell you the full chemical information about the uh, ingredients.